thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. What's happening? My pleasure, brother. I mean, as um, as uh, Pete said and everybody else said, you know, when uh, when Roland or Deanna ask you to stop by real quick, you figure out a way to carve out some time and make it happen, man. I'm happy to be here. I had a couple of um, cool things that I would love if you would share. One is um, we did an equity deal on uh, your company where I have uh, have an interest in it in exchange for helping out. And we did that um, a while back. And then also um, since then, we've done quite a few equity deals with other people. Um, would you just kind of explain maybe why because I like I didn't have any kind of really big presence or anything when you and I first got together. We just met at an event at a mastermind, actually, as I recall, and um, and ultimately were able to to do a deal. And then we also had a training where I was talking about some of the deals that I do that are equity. And then you disappeared on your phone for a while and came back with quite a few things. Could you just share a little bit of that story? Like yeah, I, I want absolutely. people to understand why people are willing to do this. You know, it's interesting because Pete was talking a second ago. And so I think that what people need to understand is um, why look really, really smart people, um, understand the value of time and they understand the value of getting results uh, fast as opposed to going through uh, any of the brain damage. This is the reason why, you know, you, you could easily ask a very similar question. Why do fortune 500 companies, some of the most uh, important and you know, wealthiest successful companies in the world, why do they have outside consultants, right? Why do they pay millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to people outside of their own company and bring them in to consult on projects and the same is true of all businesses, large and small, right? In my opinion, is that smart people realize that when there's a gap and they're trying to get a result faster, they, they understand the value of that currency and they're willing to pay to get the result as fast as humanly possible. And so, you know, when it lo I look back and you and I had met in the war room, you know, some of the original um, guys that were in there. And I think we joined at very similar times. Yeah. Both, both had successful businesses, both were doing very well, but I kept noticing, um, at the end of each one of these meetings that there was one guy who was always being recognized. It was always winning, you know, the awards for the, for the guy that had the, the best concepts, the best strategies, the best proven things that were happening. And it was you. And, and, you know, me being the guy that I am, it, it uh, it mattered a lot to me to watch that play out right in front of me over and over and over. And clearly I knew there was something that this guy knew that I figured I could benefit from. And so I actually living in West Palm beach, Florida, um, got on a plane, asked Roland to lunch. He lived in San Diego, California, literally flew all the way across the country to just go to lunch together and took a red eye all the way back so that I could get an hour of his time and, and hang out and understand, you know, really the way he saw the world. And that was the beginnings of a, of a, you know, now what are we probably 12 years into our partnership, friendship here and uh, relationship that, you know, when you, when you see somebody who uh, has the opportunity to have an impact on your business or on your life, you do whatever it takes to get in the room. And so that is the way we started. And ultimately that blossomed into a, got to a point where uh, Roland was bringing so much value to, to me that I, I, I would have been a fool not to just, quite frankly, I don't even think it was solicited. Uh, it was one of these where I went to you and said, look, I want you to be a part of my organization. How do we put this together? And his currency that he was offering to me never made an investment into the company outside of all of his wisdom, all of his time, efforts, energy, resources. And to me, that was extremely, extremely valuable and has played a significant impact on our growth. And then, you know, as you laid out there, um, turned around and, and, you know, now Pete is effectively doing the same thing to me and our relationship, right? Pete has come on and as a consultant into one of my events. And I have no doubt that it'll continue to, to flourish and that partnership will grow. But I've been able to do that to many, many companies now, um, whether those have been software companies, whether those have been printers. I mean, we just did this last week. We just completed the acquisition of a 
of a real estate company based out of Florida, where they gave us effectively 50% of their business that's doing uh, $10 million a year in revenue, but they know that we can come in and shorten their uh, timetable to get to 100 million. And they believe very strongly that with our help and our connections and our resources, they can get there in two years instead of 10. So again, just effectively selling somebody's time back to them. Um, and then, you know, you spoke about one where we were in a group, we were actually doing a, a consulting uh, with a large number of entrepreneurs together. And some of the things you were outlining um, hit home with me in a very, very profound way. And if, if I'm anything, I'm a, I'm a fast action taker. So I quite literally, Roland thought I was uh, being rude in the room because I've got my head. No, down. I thought you were in, like had some family emergency or something <laughs> exactly. going on. I'm texting away uh, as fast as I can uh, with a number of different vendors that I knew our business represented a significant portion of their business. And, and significant enough that I knew if I, if I left them uh, as, you know, they were one of my vendors. And if I, if I've moved my business somewhere else, it would have a significant impact. And so I began having conversations with them that, listen, the easiest way to make sure that I never have to go anywhere else, or I never have to uh, look for other vendors is for us to enter into a partnership, enter into an equity deal to where we are now, we can completely vertically integrate with you. And we can now bring, in, in fact, drive more business to you. But now we both have e equitable interest in this. And it has worked for me over and over and over and over again. And I, you know, I've heard some people and seen some people in the chat questioning this or questioning that. Look, the reality of it is, is that you know, I have no doubt that everything that you uh, will learn in this uh, training is is 100 percent true. I mean, it has played out thousands and thousands and thousands of times. The biggest thing you can do is suspend all the disbelief, buy in as fast as humanly possible, because as fast as you buy in, it is definitely not. Let me just be very clear. It is definitely not seen is believing. It is 100 percent believing is seen. Now, if you believe it and you understand the value that you can bring to certain relationships, there is an endless ocean of people that are looking for the opportunity to work with experts and a currency that they have that they are willing to, quite frankly, offer up surprisingly fast is equity inside of their businesses. It's it's fascinating, but it's you know when they when they realize that they've got something and this equity is is again a currency. Being able to negotiate into that and create, you know, opportunities for yourself is very, very, very real. I, I think it's the, uh, it, it's just like the first time that you do a no money real estate deal that you're just shocked that this is possible, right? When it, when it's done, when they sign it over or a wholesale deal where you, like you teach wholesaling on real estate, it's like, wait a minute, I can, I can make 20, 30, $50,000 on a house that I never owned. How right. the heck do I do that? Right. It's, it's just knowing that that's available and then seeing it happen that first time is magic, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, th I, I tell people this all the time, you know, when it comes, when they come into the real estate game, you know, be very, very careful uh, because your truth is not necessarily the truth. Yeah. And, and the truth is that there are a lot of businesses out there that you can buy for no money. The truth is that there are millions of homes that, well, if not hundreds of thousands of homes that are bought every single year without $1 trading hands, right? People effectively give their houses over. It happens every single day. So just because you don't believe it doesn't make it any less true. It absolutely 100% happens. And the faster you buy in and the faster you gain the knowledge and the wisdom and the confidence, well, the faster you can take advantage of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Ken. I really appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely, my friend. If you want a lot of additional really cool stuff, I've got a whole channel full of it and you should subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. I'm uploading videos all the time. There's a lot of things that are changing in this area and you don't want to miss out. You don't want to do it wrong and you don't want to make the mistakes I make. Subscribe so that you don't miss out and then check out this next video.